everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. So today, I'm going to be doing something different and I'm going to be showing you guys how I curl my hair. Now this is probably one of the most requested videos I have ever gotten on my Instagram live feeds and like in my DMs. So yeah, if you guys would like to see how I curl my hair with a straightener, then please keep watching. So my hair is newly washed i washed it last night and i blow dried it with the l'oreal palace paris alvive keratin straight 72 hour oil replacement kind of balm anti-frizz balm and i use this because it really smoothens my hair especially because my hair can tend to get very knotty now that it's colored from root to tip and disclaimer i know i need to color my hair pretty soon but um, I'm also going for a wedding pretty soon, so I'm going to color my hair closer to the wedding time so that I don't have to be doing it 20 times in the same month. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and talk about the technique that I use. So my hair straightener is not on right now. And obviously I'll section off my hair and then do this technique. But I want to show you guys while the straightener is not on because I don't want to fry my hair. So I take a reasonable piece of hair. I'm just going to take a small section of hair. You can grab a big section, a small section, whatever preference you would prefer. I usually take slightly big sections. And what I do is I like to straighten out the root area. So I'll do that like about three times. And then I like my curl to start lower down. So when I want my curl to start, I flip my hair straightener 180 degrees so that this hair is facing down. Can you guys see that? And then I lightly just press and do like small pulses to curl the hair till the bottom, if that makes sense. So you guys will see as I'm doing it in the video, it'll make more sense and you guys will actually see the curl in action. And I like to go away from my face. So on this side of my head, I'll go away from my face and on this side of my head, I'll go away from my face. I only do it that way if it makes sense you can do alternating curls if you feel that that works for you but that doesn't necessarily work for me so i prefer to just go all in one direction on the side of my face and all in one direction on the side of my face if that makes any sense and then i'm gonna start sectioning off my hair now i usually take bigger sections when i'm curling my hair but when i'm straightening my hair i would usually take smaller sections of hair if that makes sense Flip it under 80 degrees, pulse, release, pulse, release, press, release, it's like a pulsing motion for me when I'm doing it quick, press, release, make sure the hair is within the plates, press, release, And then use your finger to just twirl the hair. Again, on this side of my face, which is the right hand side of my body, I am pushing the curl away from my face. It takes some getting used to to master this side of the body, but once you get it, it's pretty easy. Now when you first do your hair, you'll notice there is some harsh lines but once your hair kind of settles into the curl you'll notice that those harsh lines kind of disappear so don't stress about it too much So you can ideally use whatever technique that you want to curl your hair. You don't have to do the pulsating or like the press release method. You can do the full on pull. Pull until you get to the end of the hair because ideally you still kind of get the same 
result but I don't like to kind of pull at my hair so that is why I tend to do like the press release technique so I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my hair and then when I am right to the front of my hair I'll be right back so as you guys can see when it comes to the curls that are framing my face I like to bring the curls lower down just so that the curls are not in my face and not bothering me throughout the day try not to burn yourself when you're doing this because these straighteners can be hot I hope you guys can see the curls are really really nice and bouncy and voluminous please you guys test out this technique first and wear your hair like this with no hairspray because I made the biggest mistake of life and I sprayed hairspray onto my hair on the day of my graduation and my hair fell flat but I don't think you need to use any sort of setting mist or mousse or hairspray or anything of that sort because these curls do last quite a long time like I can put my hair in a bun right now and wake up tomorrow morning and leave my hair down and it will still be in these curls so yeah I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you guys so so much for watching please don't forget to thumbs up subscribe like my video share with all of your friends and all the great stuff and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!